Hey guys, it's your girl Angie. You're watching Barbershop Conversations. Make sure to click the button below to subscribe, like the video, don't like it, leave a comment. Um, you can also follow me at um, Angelica Curtis on Instagram. See you soon. Barbershop Conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So, um, Ronda Rousey fights tonight, and I can't help but draw a parallel between her and Adrian Broner. You know, when Ronda Rousey lost, she said she was suicidal. And maybe 60 days ago, 45 days ago, Adrian Broner um, said he thought about committing suicide and whatnot. Now, I'm just speaking from a, uh, I'm not speaking from a humanistic perspective in terms of wanting them to do better. I'm just talking about picking fights and betting your hard-earned money on fighters. Now... I, 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 I've said this to guys to you 5, 10, maybe 15 times. When a person shows you who they are, believe them. Now, at the height of their powers, at the apex of their powers, Adrian Broner and Ronda Rousey said they wanted to commit suicide. Right? So what will they do when they have to prove their character? Right? Because people give them passes. They're famous. They're celebrities. They're above average at what they do and they're making a lot of money doing it and in addition to making a lot of money they're getting the money in one lump sum whereas we have to save money for years and years to accumulate the amount of monetary gains that they have so ronda rousey may or may not win tonight but through the course of her career i can't bet on her i can't bank on her showing up i can't bank on an adrian broner uh, giving up his two belts for 0.4 pounds, 0.4 pounds, four ounces. Who would do that? You know, so uh, um, I, I I know people are going to Vegas right now and placing their bets because it, 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 it's, uh, it's a fun weekend to be in Vegas. No, the fight's in New York, I'm sorry. But but if you're, I believe the fight's in New York. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know where the fight is. But uh, um When you're bet Friday, you get to watch college football on Saturday, which is going to be a big betting day for most people. And then you get to bring in a new year. And then you come home Sunday and go to church. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I'm, I'm telling you guys this. They will let us down eventually. So I'm just giving you guys a fair warning. Know when and when to stop betting on these people. Betting on them to win. Betting on them to prove you right. Stay away from like seriously, in terms of your betting capital, stay away from these people because you know it could all be smoke screens and mirror. Like a thirty-eight-year-old boxer, right? Oh, I've never been. I've never been in better shape. I've never felt so good. And the betting public believe that, but people like me and people like you who listen to my voice know if you wasn't if you were great at twenty-eight, how can you be great at thirty-eight? And if you wasn't great at twenty-eight. The percentages say you can't be great at 38 in comparative to your contemporary. So uh, I was just driving and I thought of this. I'm like, Ronda Rousey fights tonight. And she's trying to regain what she had and the betting public probably will bet on her. And the same goes for Adrian Broner in about 45 days. But uh, they're going to let you down eventually. Adrian Broner has proven he's going to let us down. Uh, Ronda Rousey has proven that uh, when the rubber hits the road, when she has to prove to the world her character, it failed her a bit. You know, suicide thoughts. Uh, so uh, barbershop conversations. I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention and uh, bring in a new year safe. I hope to hope to have all my subscribers back on the second. <laughs> so barbershop on the first. So barbershop conversations. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Mine is at Miss Amanda Paris. Mine is PB underscore Miranda. Mine A N N E L I S G J R. And Leach. No one can spell it right. J R. <laughs> Mine is Ashley to me. And on the count. Okay, now y'all gotta do this together, okay? Okay. Y'all have to say uh, <laughs> thanks for watching Barbershop Conversations, okay? Wait, Barbershop, Barbershop Conversations. Yep. Okay. Get in time, get in time. Okay, that's what she said. Thanks for watching Barbershop Conversations.
congratulations. Thank you, guys. <laughs>